Hello everyone, in this tutorial we explain how to disable and turn off Copilot in Microsoft PowerPoint. So what is the problem? Namely, recently I discovered that this button appears over here as well as over here. Now if I click on the button you can see that this is actually a Copilot that provides you an AI tool to write the text instead of you, to condense and to do several additional things. Well. I don't want to use Copilot in PowerPoint and in this tutorial I will teach you how to disable it. So let's look into the source of the problem. Well, after some investigation I realized that Copilot is integrated into Microsoft PowerPoint with one of the recent updates. And naturally here is the solution. Until a better option is found, the solution is to uninstall the recent update and to revert PowerPoint and Microsoft Office to an older version that does not integrate Copilot. Now, on the basis of the critical feedback from the users about integrating Copilot in Microsoft Office, Microsoft will most likely provide an option to easily disable Copilot. Currently, such an option does not exist except for Word. But who knows, maybe this will never happen since maybe the agenda is to simul stimulate people to use AI tools. Before I start with explanations, here is one very important notice. In this tutorial, we will use command line tools to downgrade the PowerPoint and Microsoft Office versions. On both of our computers, we were able to successfully downgrade the Microsoft Office version. However, if you decide to follow the approach presented in this tutorial, we don't take any legal or financial responsibility if after downgrading the Microsoft Office version or if you don't properly implement the commands, you cannot start Microsoft Office anymore or any of the Microsoft Office packages. Consequently, you're doing this on your own hand. The procedure is very simple, we just need to downgrade the Microsoft Office version to the previous version and that will solve the problem. However, if you don't implement these steps correctly, then your system might in some very special cases become unstable or you might lose access to Microsoft Office. Okay, let's start with explanation. Our goal is to eliminate this button as well as the button given over here. So how to do that? The first step is to find the correct update, that is to find the correct Microsoft Office version that we need to downgrade our current Microsoft Office version. To do that, click on File, then over here click on Account, then click over here and you will see this drop-down menu, then click on View Updates. And you will be directed to this web page and this very important list will be shown. This list shows all the versions as well as the release dates. I discovered that the appropriate version is this one from September 25th. This version does not integrate Copilot and I'm going to downgrade, downgrade Microsoft Office to this version. What is important over here to memorize are these numbers. So copy and paste them. I'll just press copy and later on I will paste them. The next step is to open a command prompt in the administrator mode and to run this program that will downgrade the Microsoft Office version. So let's do that. So click here and search for command prompt. Then do the right click and click on run as administrator. Click on yes and here we are. Okay, first of all we need to navigate to this folder. Consequently let's execute this command and when we are in this folder, we actually need to run this command. However, over here we need to replace these X's and Y's by the correct version. So let's find out the correct version. Here it is. So let's copy these numbers. Let's go back over here and let's erase this part and simply paste these numbers. Okay, so this is how the command should look like. Now click here, copy, and then over here execute this command. Now since I'm using PowerPoint to record this video, after I run this command this video might stop for a second. So let's investigate that. So now you can see over here that we are checking for updates. This means that we are downgrading 
our office to this version over here. That is to the version from September 2024. And it will take a while to update everything, maybe one or two minutes. Consequently, be patient. When I say update, I actually mean to downgrade. And then after some time, this message will pop up. So I need to close Microsoft Office Screen Recorder and Microsoft PowerPoint. And consequently, let me do that. And then I will continue recording this video tutorial. The next thing that you need to do is to restart the system. Namely, if you start immediately Microsoft PowerPoint, you might see that the copilot still exists. However, you need to restart the system and then to open PowerPoint. So let's do that. So click here, then click over here to restart the system. Now, if you start Microsoft PowerPoint again, you will see that the Copilot button doesn't exist over here and everything looks good. However, if, it's, if it happens that you still see the Copilot button, you can do the following. Click on File, then click over here on Account, then click on Manage Setting, and then disable this option. This option will actually additionally constrain and restrain Microsoft from accessing your private data and from running macros on your computer. Okay, so click OK and then you'll most likely have to restart your PowerPoint. As briefly mentioned at the beginning of this video tutorial, there is a very easy approach to turn off Copilot in Microsoft Word. That is, if you just want to turn off Compile it in Microsoft Word, then it's super easy. Click on File, then over here, click on More and click on Options. Then you will find this option, Copilot, click Copilot, and just deselect this option, click OK, and voila, here it is. Copilot will be disabled in Microsoft Word and you will be able to write down everything. However, this doesn't apply to Microsoft PowerPoint. That is, if you want to disable Copilot in Microsoft PowerPoint, then you need to follow the procedure explained in this video tutorial. And that procedure will also automatically disable Copilot in Word also. So what you saw over here, I actually re-updated, that is, I installed the newest update such that I have Copilot, and with this newest update, there will be this option over here. However, this option does not exist for Microsoft PowerPoint. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe button. Also on my YouTube channel, you can find more than 800 or even 900 free video tutorials covering different topics such as robotics, machine learning, data science, software engineering, mathematics, control engineering, mechatronics, etc. That's all and have a nice day.